Hey everybody, my name is Casey Doremus. I drum for a band called The Original Scaz Band here in Central Illinois. This is a product I'm really excited to look into. These are intended to be practice symbols, something you can have in an apartment if you need to have a quiet practice space. Typically, the sound of low volume symbols are not over the top fantastic. The main focus is getting the volume level down. Big symbol companies that came out with these originally they were priced very high and they were also very small sizes and limited. It was one hi-hat, one crash symbol and a ride awkward to play on. But now the market has caught up. They are affordable. This little package comes in at right at $99. I love on stage. I use on stage for a lot of different stuff. This microphone I'm using is on stage. These microphones that I'm going to be using for the play tests are all on stage. And I use on stage instrument stands for my band. And I've been happy with everything I've used. So I'm really excited to get these out and test them. looks like a symbol for the most part, except you can notice it has a lot of holes in it so you can see through it, eliminate some of the vibration to where it doesn't ring as much. That is very quiet in comparison to a real symbol. The setup I have actually in my own house, it's a Yamaha DT Explorer. I bought it originally with the idea of being in a dorm room and then being in an apartment. It was nice to have an electronic kit. But in honesty, I didn't play it that often. I could never get into it. Doesn't feel like a real drum set. I had this idea when I started seeing these affordable low volume symbols, just the toms and snare and bass drum configuration, adding these symbols onto there which actually frees up my hi-hat pad that I had on there. So now I have four toms, which is really cool. What really hit me when I started playing these was that I didn't realize how much of that feel when I was playing an electric set I hated because of the cymbals. Hitting that rubber pad as a crash just didn't feel right. The cymbals move when you hit them. There's sort of this driving through the cymbal feeling. When I play this, it feels so much better because it feels like playing a real kit. Pads are still a slight adjustment, but it, it really works for me. <laughs> And I will say I've been practicing a lot more. I'm married, I have kids. By the time I actually could go out and play drum set, it's 10 o'clock at night, I don't wanna upset my neighbors. So I have this set up in my office in the basement and I can play this at 2 a.m. if I wanted to 
and it's not going to wake anybody up. Quickly, I want to say thank you to Kidder Music because they let me take these cymbals home and test them out over the course of a few weeks to do this review for them. I would honestly encourage my drum students to get this if they're trying to get a first set of cymbals. Get two crashes, which is really awesome. They're all good sizes. And honestly, a lot of those beginner cymbals you end up buying and spending a bunch of money on, you don't want to use later on because they're not great cymbals. These cymbals have a different purpose that would actually be really helpful to have just around your house. I really think this is a great option. I'm glad that low volume cymbals are now affordable. I encourage you to go to Kidder Music, get yourself a set of these. Have a great one. Bye.